Bars and restaurants are under fire once again. The Ministry of Health's COVID-19 contact tracing has linked recent positive cases to a number of bars. The confirmation has caused Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley to call on the police commissioner to enforce the law should patrons be found in violation of the public health guidelines. Crystal Wilson has more in this report. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has instructed the National Security Minister, Stuart Young, to utilize the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service to assist with monitoring the behavior of bar and restaurant patrons as this country's COVID-19 positive cases continue to increase. At a press conference on Wednesday, Ministry of Health epidemiologist Dr. Avery Hines said recent coronavirus contact tracing has pointed to at least three bars said to be visited by persons who later tested positive for COVID-19. And a fair amount of super spreading events, a fair number of super spreading events were noted among persons that had contact with that bar setting. At least two or three bars so far have been implicated in the spread from one group to an apparently unrelated group of persons until the history of where you had been, what you'd been doing in a given time frame had been fully elucidated. Dr. Rowley said while it has not become necessary to close bars or reduce their operating hours, he's holding them responsible for spreading the virus. The biggest pool of risk is the liming and drinking and eating out at restaurants and bars. And I'm saying this to you now. We have had one or two instances of tracing that took us to those locations. As anticipated, because we, because we expect that that element of congregation would give us some exposure. Meanwhile, the Prime Minister said those deliberately breaching public health protocols are irresponsible and a threat to the well-being of citizens. I have once again spoken to the Minister of National Security to speak to the Commissioner of Police, to speak to his charges, to enforce the law. The Prime Minister appealed to the public to adhere to all COVID-19 protocols as this country cannot sustain another economic shutdown. The last lockdown cost us billions of dollars. I could tell you now, if we have to go back to another lockdown, such billions are not available. Under current health restrictions, public gatherings have been limited to groups of 10 or less. Crystal Wilson, TTT News.